everyone. This video is going to show you how to add borders around your Google Doc. So Google Docs doesn't have an innate feature that gives you the option to add a border around it. Microsoft Word already has this option, but if you're living out of Google Docs like I am, we want to know some different ways that we can actually add this feature in. A simple way, of course, is to just go up to insert, go to image, search the web, and I type in transparent borders. And when I click enter, it gives me a bunch of different options. I'm just going to click on this one. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. And it'll come in like any image. First thing I want to do is I want to select it and I want to make sure that I'm going to add it behind all my text so that I can write over top of this image, even though it's transparent, but then this way I can write over top of it. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I fix position it on my page. So I'm going to move it around and resize it to where I want it to be. Because the lines of the actual image are really far between where the actual border shows and the lines of the image, I'm going to double click on it and resize that. Now that I've resized, I'm going to go ahead and drag my image to the borders of my Google Doc. The only thing I will caution you on is if you, this is something you're going to want to print out, I would just be careful of your printer margins. You may get the sides of the borders cut off. One thing I like to do is sometimes come up to my Chrome browser and zoom out so that I can look at the Google Doc as a whole just to see if I like the way it looks. Now that I have my image there and everything is in the background so I can write my text over it, remember we selected that option, I can now just begin typing. I can also add in other items like a table. Now this is just like any other Google Doc. A second option I like is come up to insert and do a table and just a one by one block. All you would have to do is change the order width. I mean, you can make it as thick as you want and you can even change the dash line. I'm going to make it dots and then drag your corner lines out as far as you want them and then you can click inside your table and begin typing and adding your content and what's really cool is since this border is technically a table I can actually add another table right inside my table just a real nice quick option and again you can come up here and zoom out see if you like it if you don't like it you can change the sizing of it a third option is to come up to insert and instead of doing image or table we're gonna go right to draw Drawing and select new. With a drawing, you can kind of more customize this instead of trying to search for the Google image and the table only limits you to a certain format. I'm gonna actually select on shape and I'm just gonna pick whatever shape. I'm gonna do this rounded rectangle one. And then I'm going to draw the shape. It doesn't really matter how big you make this shape because you're gonna end up resizing it anyways once you add it into your Google Doc. But the first thing I'm gonna do is this fill color. I'm gonna make it transparent. And here's kind of the nice thing. If you're doing it digitally, it doesn't you don't need to keep it black. You can do any color you want. So if I wanna make it this nice purple color and then I can make it really thick and I can change those border dashes. And as you can see here, you actually have more options than in the table formatting. So I'm gonna just do this different dash line right there. And that's gonna be my border. So I'm gonna save and close. And what a Google drawing does is it adds it into my Google doc as an image. So just like when we did the Google image search, you're gonna to wanna to click on it and you're gonna put it behind text and you're gonna fix the position on the page. And then of course you're gonna resize to fit your Google Doc. Again, I do like to zoom out just so I can see my whole doc at once, see if I like the way it looks. Because the image is now behind my text, I can begin writing and adding my content. I hope these three options give you a little bit of creativity with your Google Docs borders and just making them maybe look a little nicer and a little more professional looking. Have fun with it and try out different styles.